Hello everyone, Daniel here and welcome to another branded memorabilia and packaging look back through the years. Look at my collection of various bits and pieces that I've collected uh, over the years. I've done one video already, this is the second video. Um, be sure to check out the first video if you haven't seen it. Basically I'll just show you a selection of tins and uh, packets and stuff that I've saved and various novelties such as the Kit Kat clock that was featured in my first video so uh, be sure to check that out, there will be uh, several other videos as I have quite a large collection and uh, as I said in the last video if you have any details about the items featured let me know because some of the dates are unknown, I'm not too sure of and uh, if you have your own uh, collections uh, be sure to send me um, photos on social media or give me links to your videos so I can watch them of your collections um, and I will uh, show the links to the social media some point in the video they will appear somewhere because this is the tradition you have to point and then they appear somewhere okay let's get on with the first item in this uh, selection first of all we have this interesting tin uh, it features kind of looks like a uh, an animal from a um, Beatrix Potter. Um, now I had to do a bit of research on this because I thought this was going to be like a tin that had sweets in or biscuits or something but it is in fact had a model and a lot of them are selling on eBay uh, with the model. Unfortunately I haven't got the model, I only bought the tin, I bought it from a car boot sale and this is just the tin. Um, and it's a dual Barclums Brambury Hedge. So I'm guessing it was similar to um, Peter Rabbit. It was based on some books, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the tin, I think, is from around about 1988. Um, and the characters were based on books from 1980. Um, and as I say, I don't have the figure, unfortunately. But there are quite a lot selling online with the figure. Um, but it's a nice design tin. Um, as I say, I didn't know about this uh, Brambury Hedge until uh, I got this tin. So uh, that's a nice one to start off with. Okay, now let's move on to something that you may have with your breakfast. Not Smarties, but is an egg cup. Nice boiled egg uh, in your egg cup. Uh, and this is a Smarties egg cup. Um, I think I actually, this is actually one of mine I actually uh, got. Um, I can't remember if I had to send away for it or it might have been uh, in with an Easter egg because often you used to get cups uh, with Easter eggs. Don't see that so much now. Um, but it's around about 1980s. It's got that Smarties uh, 80s feel to it uh, and it was actually it says on the bottom that it's made by um, Hornsia Pottery and uh, yeah there's quite a lot of these on the internet as well but this is my my egg cup yeah it's a nice little thing well made okay now a lot of tins you'll see in my videos our Roses and Quality Street, and we've featured a Quality Street one in the previous video. And here is another one of uh, a man and a lady on a horse. They have a horse each, they haven't got to share one. And um, it says on the back, Macintosh's Quality Street. You can quite see that, it's rusted a little bit. Now, I don't know, I'm guessing this tin may be from around about 1980s. Um, it actually says uh, on the back, made in England, because in the last video I talked about that it was strange it had Macintoshes on it when uh, Nestle, of course, bought uh, Macintosh. And it's interesting that there's nothing on the front, um, just a picture. Uh, but it's a nice tin, and there's also some uh, images on the side. You can see them there. And it says also on the side, John Macintosh and Sons Limited, made in England. So yeah, there'd be some more uh, Quality Street ones being featured. 
of course we can also see the different sizes that they are over the years. This hasn't actually got a weight on I don't think. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, now, next one. Do you like crackers with your cheese? This is a uh, Crawford's Cream Crackers uh, tin. I imagine it may have had um, crackers in originally and you got the tin with it. As you often get special purchases. Uh, you may see like they did it with the PG tips a few years back. You got a tea, uh, like tin with a box of tea bags in. Uh, Crawford's, now they were founded in 1813. Um, by William Crawford um, and in 1962 United Biscuits uh, acquired them and I'm guessing this tin is around about late 70s early 80s maybe because uh, there's no barcode on it or anything which doesn't necessarily uh, mean it's before late 80s but generally barcodes came in the late 80s but it's got a sort of 70s 80s feel with the sort of brownie color on it um, and Crawford's do still make a few uh, items you can still see in the shops it's a nice solid tin there's no damage on this one which is good um, no crackers inside okay that's that one now the next one is an interesting tin just reach for it now I had to do a bit of research on this, you can see that, it's got an interesting design on the front of a man and a lady, I don't know if they're a couple, I do not know. Uh, Peak, Freen and Co Limited, Biscuit Manufacturers, London, England. Now their company dates back to around about 1821, and what's interesting is it says on the front, I don't know if you can see that, got the royal uh, crest seal as you see on many common products nowadays uh, of course today it would say by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II but this one says to the late King George VI now it's interesting it's got late because obviously normally you say that when uh, someone's uh, passed away no one no live no longer living now King George VI died in 19 52 um, so that puts this round about that time I would say because um, it's interesting uh, they put that on there um, I mean it does look like quite an old tin um, and yes it had biscuits in it originally so it's probably one of my old, much older tins as I say if anyone knows uh, any more details about it let me know Nice designs of patterns on there. Okay, now let's move on to another interesting design. So I have to reach down and get it. It's got a nice flowery pattern on this one, on the front and also on the sides as well. And I'm guessing maybe it's from around about the 1970s. Um, it says on the back this tin contains moisturising foam bath. Um, some's crossed out and it's also got it in other languages as well so it's some kind of oh soaps as well and talcum powder by the looks of it so it's that kind of um, toiletries uh, in a tin as so I'm not too sure on the date but I'm guessing maybe 1970s um, it just says made in the UK uh, that's all the other information I have on there. But, um, well, I remember when I saw it a couple of so I thought, oh, that looks nice. Interesting tin, old design. Okay, now let's move on to another design one. And this is actually a tin from France. I got it from a cover that's only UK, but it's actually from France lady pouring looks like a bottle of cider into a cup I don't know who does that who has cider in a cup because it says cedar on it which is French for cider and um, yeah she looks pleased with herself I 
think she's just pleased to have a drink by the looks of it because she's pouring into a cup and got a, for the hassle to find a glass. And it's got an interesting pattern on the on the side as well. But yes, and that label says a biscuitier ou a moustouille, sorry my French. Um, and it says composition, which I'm guessing is the ingredients, farine, I'm not too sure what that is, sacri, which must be sugar, oofs, which is eggs, if I remember rightly, uh, beer, butter, and I'm not too sure, pondry and leventi, which might be some raisin agent or something, but yeah, it's basically biscuits. Not sure what mistua means. Feel free to pause that and translate. Okay, and interesting enough, it says there's a little label there that says F18.70, which I'm guessing is the price, francs, 18 uh, francs, which of course will put it around about 1999 because France adopted the euro around about 1999 when it, I think it became compulsory for the countries that were uh, joining the euro. So, but I think of course that this tin is a lot earlier than 1999, looking at the design of it. But obviously that's the latest that it is, so maybe 80s. Again, if anyone knows, please let me know. Okay, now we have something much smaller. And this is, I've seen quite a few of these on the internet as well. It's a pepper, spices, uh, container, it says on the bottom, made in Hong Kong, um, and it's from Radford's, uh, who established in 1875, not sure when the tin was from, again might be 80s, I don't think it's any later than that, but I could be wrong, but, uh, an interesting tin. Okay, let's move on to a fun item like we had the Kit Kat clock in the previous video. We have another Smarties, but this is Smarties camera. Say cheese. You have the cord so you could carry the camera around. And again, this may be one you have to send tokens off for. There's the button. And it's got I think that was to wind on to the next, uh, take the next photo. Because people of a certain age will not recognise cameras that used to have to use cameras with flashes in. Uh, not now, it's so easy just to get your phone and take a photo. Uh, but there was a time when we had to develop photos at uh, shops. And uh, I think these took. Um, 110 uh, film or something. I know the films had different numbers, and I think that's what this one took. So, again, it's probably around about 1980s or could be early 90s. I think this is, I think this is one of mine. Um, well, they're all mine now because I bought them, but I mean, one I originally bought myself, or one I later bought because some I later bought, I say, at car boot sales. But yeah, that's uh, an interesting novelty, and you'll see more of them in videos. Okay, now we have who likes chocolates? Who likes perfect chocolates? See what they did.